so twin to to what you were saying when when i made that video i'm, I'm sure what you're you're speaking of i made my two minute rant it was a. Uh, it was something that we as Latinos, Raza, whatever you want to, you know, cause. I don't get into what people are, but it was like we saw first uh, the Lote lady. You know, I made a video about that, and I pretty much called out my own people on that one. I said, "Dude, for how many years have we been terrorizing our own? For how many years have we been robbing our own? We extort those people. We do all kind of stuff to them." So I actually used that as a as a as a opportunity to call my own people out and say this is wrong man but at the same time look what you, look what we do to each other don't sit here and say those young men off the back are like every african-american because they're not period and then you saw i think it was a guy with the egg it wasn't that big a deal it was that's almost like a, a stupid prank that a kid can a white kid can make and they'll, they'll call it jackass or something right but then you've got the i think it was the last one the raspado guy and that that to me was just i think i was feeling it more from People calling me. I had homies of mine, and there's not even that many African Americans, especially gangs out here. But there was, I got younger homies of mine pissed off. I mean, actually trying to do something. Like, dude, relax. I got guys hitting me up in my DM. Have you seen it? It just kind of built up inside of me. And what I did, it was I wasn't looking for a fight. I'm still not looking for a fight. This is what I was looking for. I was looking for a conversation. And and personally, I didn't know that there was that many of you guys out there doing what you were doing. So if anything good came out of that, it's this that we're having that conversation, brother. Me, myself, I looked at it like, what if that was my mother? It was all my aunt. Somebody I cared about that got choked out. But as far as you know, the lady. So it wasn't necessarily just a racial. It was more, what if that was my mother? That, that lady had a kid. That kid lady had somebody that cared about her. And to see her family get treated like that was my issue about the thing. It was because I understand that we've done to our own just as bad, if not worse. But at the same time, I wanted everybody else to see, what if that was your mother? What if that was your auntie? What if that was somebody that close to you? Then then it would be a whole different ballgame because people were saying, it's petty. Yeah. No, it's not petty. If it's your mother, or your right. aunt, your right. cousin, somebody you love, your sister, it's not petty. It's right. something that you want to kill them. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to avoid. Yeah. Well, I think one of the things that stood out to me, and my neighborhood, we share a neighborhood, black and brown. We coexist, have been for years. And it's obvious a lot of people can't identify what I am. You know, a lot of times people walk up to me, start speaking Spanish, and, <laughs> you know, and sometimes I, I'm cool, I'm, yeah, como esta, muy bien. And then they just give me full throttle and I, blah, 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 and I say, hey, camate, camate. No mas, I, I don't have no more, that's it. So I, I, I've always had, you know, uh, a level of engagement to, to where I've seen people as people. And, and when I did see some of the videos, uh, I was upset because I've seen people being bullied, uh, vulnerable people, you know, who w wasn't bothering anybody. And I, I, it, to me, it wouldn't have mattered if it was brown on brown, black on brown, or wh whatever, however way it turned out, it was just disturbing just to see that. And to see it and, and someone to think that it's funny. And like you said, whether that was your dad or your mom or somebody in your family, it's not funny. So uh, I, it, it disturbed me to that point. Um, I think what we did get out of it when we seen that if it included actual gang members, it makes it easier for us because we can hone in on it. You know, now we can track the dude down or whatever. But had it been somebody we didn't know or just a random dude just in the neighborhood doing something, it, it, it would have made it more difficult, you know, to try to resolve or at least have some understanding when folks is calling and say, hey, that's your people. Well. It's not really our people because we don't really push the line for that to happen. But if it's our people, we're going to track them down and there'll be some accountability for their actions. And that, there was also, just to you know, bring it up also, there was also a video going around. I think it was three essays. They were going in a car, throwing water at black people, calling them the N-word. And that's, that's, that's just disrespectful, distasteful. It's, it's, it's the same thing. And, and from our point of view, we feel the exact same way, brother. I think, I think we're trying to grow as people. All together, you know, it's just we, we just kind of wanted to make sure it's not a trend because that's what these kids are doing. They think it's funny. They think it's a view. And they, I mean, they're kind of snitching on each other. But at the same time, they don't understand how many people they're bringing into this fight. Right. If there if there would be a fight, right. which, like I said, we're not looking for a fight. We're looking for a conversation, brother. Right. 
uh, and because we live in a digital world, when, when you do see things like that and they're recorded, um, I, I guess I'm a troll if I read all the comments, you know. <laughs> and, and when you read them, you, you're reading some stuff that's like, it, it's really scary that if, if anyone has the potential to carry out what they're talking about doing or if they have a level of influence to somebody that might read that and then say, oh, yeah, let's, let's get it cracking or let's do this. But I don't think we always take into account the person behind that keyboard might not be the person you think it is. It might not even be in this country, you know, or might work for somebody that worked for somebody. So a lot of that, it, it could be agitating because you're reading some stuff there, but you don't really know the person responsible for, for writing that or what their motive is behind doing that. Well, a lot of these kids don't, don't understand when they talk about a racial war or attacking each other as far as racial there's going to be repercussions from later on down the road and i think from our age group we're all basically the same age group that we understand that now when we were having those wars back in the days yeah. we're filling it now yes. we have to deal with it when we're trying to stop our youngsters from doing the same thing and right. making those same right. mistakes well one thing that was huge that i saw was the guys from hoover man just doing that and putting that out there, and some guys said, oh, you don't need to put that out there. No, but it, it, was, a, it was a big show of, of respect. It was a big show of communication. It was a big show of actually trying to do something about it, man. Gesture. Yeah, it, yeah, it was, it, yeah. It, it was a huge gesture, man. But, you know, but it came from, from him, the youngster. You know, he seen, I mean, we seen it. We was upset. Yeah. But when he called me and told me how, man, how do I clear my name and straighten this out? And I'm like, this is one way you can go about doing it. And that's the route he took, you know what I mean? He didn't even wait for me to get down there. When I turned the corner, he was full engaged in doing what he was doing. So, so what was he thinking? Was he just thinking it was funny? Well, the guys that did it, yes, they did. But they, but they put the, somebody else's name. Yes. His name was involved, and he had nothing to do with it. But, but, but now that incident created a conversation yes. to where now they like, damn, that was some dumb shit I did. You know what I mean? So it was educational for them as well. So... I don't think they'll be going down that road. So now he better tell someone else the silly stuff you're doing can get other people involved and get them hurt. Exactly. To when it ain't gonna come back to you, it's gonna come back to the other people that's really out there. So, you know, hate it had to happen, but the conversation is here now. We're here at the table.